convicted. He was out on bail and he was supposed to appear. Lying ass bitch. And he fled. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, yeah. Yeah. Basically, yeah. Yeah. Basically, yeah. Bro, bro this I'm nigga Miko getting 40 years. Man, nigga, I on. know, bro. Y'all don't know. 40 years, 40 years, 40 years. Man, nigga, I on. know, bro. Y'all don't know. Media, you dramatic fuck. You are so dramatic, it pisses me off. You insecure fucking prick. Arrested for supplying narcotics and sexually abusing a 10 year old. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Bro, I'm out, man. That nigga's tripping. Mika was part of this, you know, like this pedophile ring. You are fake news. Go ahead. I understand all of you guys don't understand that, but in Sasua, when someone creates a rumor about you, 90% of the time, it's BS. So you can't jump off of that. Like I said, I just want to put a disclaimer. Uh, Mika is innocent and proven guilty. Um, please. Um, I know that it's easy to judge people and it's really easy to do it at clown and whatnot, but the, at the end of the day, this man is innocent to be guilty. Hey, guys, welcome to the interview portion of this video. And today I'm going to introduce to you my counsel, my attorney, Mr. Romney Phillips. Uh, good morning, Mr. Phillips. How are you? I'm fine. How about yourself? Doing well. Thank you. Okay. So Mr. Phillips, he's going to uh, explain to you guys exactly uh, what occurred and, and how we got to the point of where we are, because there were so many uh, false rumors and accusations out there pertaining to this case, pertaining to my past. And I'm here to tell you 100% of it is false, is completely false, guys. And Mr. Phillips, he's going to be speaking to, to that fact. He knows all the details about the case. He knows everything about my past. And uh, so without further ado, Mr. Phillips, I give the floor to you. Well, thank you, sir. So greetings to the Miko Worldwide audience. Of course, my name is Romney M. Phillips, and I'm an attorney in Georgia and in California. I've had the pleasure of knowing Mr. Nickel for approximately six or seven years. Uh, during that time, I've gotten a chance to get to know him. And I know that he is a quality young man. Uh, I've gotten a chance to meet his parents. Uh, I know that they have raised him to be a God-fearing young man. And as a result of that, I gladly accepted the responsibility of defending him when he was charged with these uh, latest charges in 2018. Um, so I know based on talking to Mr. Nickel that there's been some rampant rumors online regarding what actually happened. So first of all, let me just say this. Miko Worldwide is innocent. Uh, hopefully you heard that. I'll say it again. Miko Worldwide is innocent. So just to clear up just some of the crazy crazy rumors that I've seen um, online about him. Miko did not jump bail. <laughs> he simply had warrants which needed to be resolved. I'm sure some of you have had the same thing happen. So it's not something that's unique to Mr. Nickel. Absolutely his case did not involve small children and I don't know where in the world that could have come from. And I say absolutely. And I, I could not fathom Mr. Nickel doing something of that um, manner. I just couldn't, I couldn't imagine him doing that from the person that I know. Also, it says that he kidnapped or drugged or sexually assaulted someone. That absolutely <laughs> is not true. He never placed anyone in the trunk of a car you know, actually, all of this sounds like plots of, of recent movies, <laughs> but it has nothing to do with the young man that I know or the charges that he was facing here in the United States. Uh, Michael has never been a sex offender, and he's never been accused of being a sex offender. Michael did not escape from jail or prison, because if he did, we wouldn't be here today. <laughs> 
And so get into particulars about his case. The charges stem from something that allegedly happened in 2018. And Michael was taken into custody in March of 2020. Uh, of course, you know that date because that's also when COVID was rampant here in the United States and this country basically shut down. So as a result, our criminal justice system, especially here in Georgia, shut down. We couldn't have hearings, we couldn't have trials until the court was able to determine how we could safely move forward with that. And so we're still reeling from the, the repercussions of that today. With respect to Michael, if things had moved in a constant and fair pace, this would have been resolved last year. But unfortunately, due to COVID, things were prolonged. And I mean prolonged. And if Mr. Nickel had not entered into what's called an Alfred plea, and that's a plea where you state that I am not guilty. I am not uh, guilty of what I've accused of. I'm simply taking this opportunity to get out of jail and move on with my life. And so we decided for Mr. Nickel, that would be the best thing. He had already been in custody for 14 months and the way things were looking, he could, been in, he could have been in custody for another 14 months. Uh, simply seeking a trial to vindicate him and show and prove his innocence. And so we decided it was best for him to take that plea and to get out of jail. So, some of the questions I'm sure you have, is he a sex offender? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. And if he was, I wouldn't be sitting next to him. Uh, I have a stellar reputation. I've been practicing for 21 years. And so there's nothing that I would do to jeopardize my career. I stand behind my clients. I believe in my clients. And I get to know my clients and their character. And with the, Mr. Nickel, his character is beyond reproach. Um, I know that he has had the opportunity to travel the world and do missionary work um, for his church here in Georgia and on his own. In fact, uh, when he was taken into custody in Columbia, he was doing just that. And he had traveled around the world already for a couple of years helping people in need, raising money for people in need, doing what he could to extend himself to help others. So you tell me, does that sound like a criminal? Or does that sound like somebody who's genuinely interested in mankind? And that's what Michael is. Um, and that's the kind of person I like representing because I seek the opportunity to prove that they are innocent. And that's why I gladly accepted the challenge from Mr. Nichols. Now, Mr. Nickel had a prior case back in 2012, which was dismissed and was expunged off of his record. And that case did not involve a child or any kind of sexual intercourse whatsoever. So any of the rumor mongers that are spreading those rumors need to stop and actually tell the truth. As they say, the truth shall set you free. And this young man does not need to be slandered and libeled by individuals out there who know absolutely nothing about what occurred with him. In addition to Miko, or Michael, I guess I need to call him by his, his new famous name now, uh, has never been accused in any court whatsoever of molesting or raping a child. Michael has been the kind of person uh, that I think is stellar and should be held up in a positive light. Uh, it's not often that you find young men in their 20s who are more concerned about their fellow man than they are about their own personal uh, happiness and gratitude. And Michael is the kind of person who cares more about people seemingly than he does himself. And I, I think this world would be a much better place if everyone out there uh, would strive to do the same thing. So I don't want to talk and uh, monopolize this whole opportunity to reach out to the audience. So I'll pass the baton back to Michael and let him address you as well. Thank you, Mr. Phillips. I appreciate it. You're very welcome. Guys, this whole thing, you've heard it first. 
you have heard it first on the Miko Worldwide channel, guys, from my counsel. He's been with me since the beginning of this case. He's known me for years. And guys, I'm just extremely relieved and excited that you all uh, have the opportunity to know the truth now. Uh, I wanted to put a video out there when this whole case happened um, so that it wouldn't leave the viewers kind of like hanging in the blind side. However, I was advised against that uh, for, for good reason. And so um, now that the case is, is over with and complete, uh, I'm just I'm just ecstatic that you all have our version, our side, the truth of what actually um, transpired and to put all these false rumors aside. And if I can just interject here, this is the first time that I've ever done something like this for a client. So then you should consider that if an attorney will sit by his client and stand up for his client, then that should mean a hell of a lot. And it does. Absolutely, Mr. Phillips. Thank you. You're welcome. Guys, it's just, you know, I want, I want to give a big thank you to those who stuck beside me, uh, those subscribers, those fans. Um, shouts out to my family as well and everybody who who really was there for me and um, you know that, that didn't give up um, my moderator special 150 and uh, her her husband uh, Dean they consistently wrote me and stayed in contact with me uh, throughout this whole process and that meant a lot to me my purpose and my goal of this channel was to inspire others to travel and help those in the in your community so guys whether you're in new york city or atlanta or whether you're in southeast asia or indonesia or bali wherever you are at in this world guys just reach out do something in your community to help your to help your fellow man and so for me uh as i showed an example when we did the uh, sosua uh, food drive that's a, a community service event that i spearheaded for individuals in uh in an area that was uh, Less fortunate uh, in La Piedra. It's an area in Sosua, Sosua, Dominican Republic, and we were able to provide a lot of like over 250 plates of food, games, excitement, just happiness, and we put a lot of smiles on the families and the kids' faces. And absolutely, um, a lot of people tried to turn that around and make that sound like it was for some deviant purpose when it absolutely wasn't. It was for we just wanted to. Uh, support the community and support those that that don't have the support that we have uh, in the, in this country in the United States or whether you're in Europe or Canada we're so fortunate and um, so we're gonna get back on the road what's next for Miko Worldwide and his subscribers we're gonna get back there's uh, I'm truly excited about the future of my channel I'm truly excited about the content that I'm going to be bringing for you all. Uh, we have unreleased footage from Colombia when we were working with the Tycos group, if you all remember. Um, additionally, we have new uh, original footage. So make sure to follow me on the on the YouTube guys at Miko Worldwide. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, like, comment below, and don't forget to uh, tap the notification bell so you get notified of any upcoming content. And uh, guys, don't forget to follow me also on Instagram at Miko Worldwide. So guys, thank you so much for staying tuned. And until next time, Miko Worldwide.